Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hansen Steel, and welcome back to another day in a Minecraft, where last time we finished or did this uh, massive build up there, uh, which is a dirt farm designed by Cubic Meter. Uh, it's not yet done completely because the output stream is missing and we to process the output stream we need a blast chamber that will go somewhere in there um, which is uh, designed by uh, El Mango. It's not the most uh, powerful one but it will do and then we probably need to figure out how to get the output stream from there into the farm nicely aligned. And there I found a nice overview by uh, Blokrinski. So all these videos are, as always, um, linked down in the description. So. Uh, Please go over there and show them some love. And you might see that the world looks a bit different than last time. That's because I have optimized my setup a bit. Uh, so we should get better frame rate. And looking in this direction, uh, we can even see there above my head, that's the top of our raid form. That's because I uh, switched out the Bobby mob, uh, Bobby mod, no, not mob, uh, with distant horizon. So far away chunks are basically loaded uh, uh, from the, the hard drive and, and rendered in in way less resolution. And I think one of the outcrops back there that's where the entrance to our to the end is so but now enough rambling uh, let's get this this first part uh here for the farm uh, completed so we get an output stream of blocks this first part here at the dirt farm is complete and one part of the item stream is redirecting the locks. This is done by uh, these four pistons here which pushes everything down until the obsidian there is reached and then here on this side um, we have one piston pushing to the middle also from this side, one piston pushing down. And this is with a bit of uh, delay done here. Uh, we take the signal from here. Uh, and basically this uh, converts the block stream of three wide into one wide and then is also pushed down there uh, so then here uh, we actually have to deal with the uh, with the locks uh, pushing them out and uh, bringing them down and around here and then yeah here we can see we have on the left side and on the right side we have a similar set up uh, where we bring in block streams from the two side and push out into the middle. And this is basically where we get all the output from this farm. So we combine quite a bit of, uh, of blocks into one stream. So that one is, is pretty fast. Uh, however, at this stage without any blocks in there, it's probably a bit difficult to see how this all works and hopefully in the end we can see a proper 
demonstration. But now let's come to the next part and build up a blast chamber on this side and then we will have to see how to connect the two block streams. The blast chamber is now also done and the input of the block stream is over on this side and we get it out somewhere there so we have to redirect it uh, upwards over and also closer to the whole thing so all three dimensions and uh, that might take a bit of uh, fiddling but also down here uh, there is a small sorting system for uh, dirt, cobble and uh, spruce logs. And should we get anything else out of it, which we should not, but you never know. So last thing to do is basically connect that block stream from there to up there and then give this whole thing a try run. As you can see down there I have put in a few of these block stream diverters. This one taking the output from here directing in this direction. Then over there we shove it one over and further along only shortly after to push everything up until here where we push it a bit further uh, along uh, so it can go into the blast chamber. Now it comes the time to figure out how many boo-boos I made here and for that we need to first place a boat here um, which we can't with these blocks there um, but we need them because we need to align the boat we need to get it as far back as possible and let's get back put in the dirt there and then have a bit of uh, piston action there and bam that's it can remove those again and place in the locks and of course we don't need these ones here again and then we can actually see if this is working. If something is working, however, the boat is not moving. So we found our first boo boo, and I will spare you all the details of uh, fixing everything. I will just do it and in the end we will see a uh, running form and we have a creeper back there. That was a task. It was a mix of uh, missing blocks because some of the power signals were wired through the uh, output stream then blocks in the wrong power state and uh, piston push limit. Uh, the last had uh, enormous uh, failure potential, but it was always easy to fix. But now, as you are seeing, it is actually working and we get a ton out of dirt out of this farm. That was a tiny bit painful, but now it's done and it's working, mostly. As I was sitting in there, I thought there is one issue left. 
we get most of our drops in this chest, which is the unfiltered chest, because all the items drop when exploded, so everything comes at the same time. So the filtered hoppers have no chance to pick everything up. So what we need here instead is some kind of carousel, so the items go round and round until they find the correct hopper and can be picked up. But that's it for today. And as this was a quite large project and they are not getting smaller in the future, here's a fair warning that maybe I won't be able to push out a new video every week. I'm trying, but if it does not work that way, well, stay tuned. The next one is definitely coming. So don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you soon. Bye.